Hi, it's Sally from Field to Fork here. Welcome to the Hersel on a cold and frosty winter's morning. But have you also noticed how little light there is each day in winter? It's only just getting light in the morning when we get up and then it gets dark toward, again towards the end of the afternoon. And the temperatures can be low too. This lack of light and low temperatures affects our trees too. Many of them lose their leaves in autumn and stay dormant over the winter. They are deciduous trees. On the other hand, those that are evergreen are able to hold onto their leaves and more of needles because they are tough and waxy and so can withstand the cool temperatures and retain water. Can you spot which trees are evergreen and which are deciduous in your area? Most deciduous trees are broadleafed. That means they have large, flat, thin leaves with a big surface area. This large surface area means that in the summertime, they, when they're in leaf, they can soak up large amounts of sunlight from which they make their food. But in winter, when there's so little sunlight, they wouldn't be able to make enough food. Being large and delicate too, means that they would be prone to water loss and frost damage. Without their leaves, we can clearly see the shape and structure of deciduous trees. We can see their trunk, their bark, their limbs, their branches, their twigs, their buds, which we can learn to recognise and so be able to identify the tree. An oak tree's bark becomes more rough and more fissured the older it gets. And its twigs are smooth and brown. The buds are forming along them and on their ends. An ash tree has twigs that turn upwards at their ends and the buds are black and pointed. A good way to remember them is to think of burning turning things black and giving ash. A beech tree has smooth grey bark and buds that are long and pointed and brown. A silver birch is a tall, thin tree with its distinctive silvery bark. A hawthorn is a small tree or bush with a mass of small, thin, spiky twigs. It may have some berries left on it too. A hazel is growing catkins from its twigs that are like lamb's tails. The alder too has catkins. So go out into the woods or park and take a closer look at the trees that are there. Can you find different deciduous trees? Can you be a tree detective? Look at their bark, their twigs, their buds, their shapes. Play hug a tree. Notice the different patterns and textures of bark on different trees. Use a wax crayon and paper to make bark rubbings. Collect fallen twigs and see if you can identify which tree they might have come from. Look out for buds already forming. And with the help of an ID sheet, this one from the Woodland Trust, you may be able to work out which tree it is. Once you've had a good look round at the trees in your area and perhaps identified what they are, gather together a collection of bits of bark and twigs that have fallen from trees. Twigs of different thicknesses, but they don't need to be too long. Make sure you get some really thin ones too. And what we're going to do is make a representation of a deciduous tree in winter. 
Now you can do that either by clearing a piece of ground and laying it out there, or you can get a piece of cardboard and make it into a picture by sticking them on so that they last longer. As you go, remember to go carefully. Only pick up things that are lying on the ground. So the twigs and bark that have fallen and are no longer part of the living tree. Also, as you're carrying sticks and twigs, keep them pointed away from your faces and your eyes and those of others. Can you show the shape and structure of your deciduous tree? Starting with the wide thick trunk, dividing into limbs and then the branches and then the fine twigs. There are lots of fun activities you can do with twigs. And if you've enjoyed this activity, then look out for others you can explore and do from Fields of Fork this winter outdoors.